Welcome back. As we await an announcement today about second doses from the province, some vaccine clinics say the demand for that shot number two is creating a mob-like mentality. Here's City News reporter Shauna Hunt. Claims of harassment, intimidation and bullying happening here at a vaccine clinic at the Cecil Community Centre. This two-day pop-up was supposed to be targeting residents in the Kensington Chinatown neighbourhood and was clearly advertising first doses only. But organizers tell me things turned ugly when a large group of outsiders arrived and started demanding second shots even though they were not eligible. They were threatening to me and to my staff, everybody. We were being uh, bullied and threatened the entire day. After three weeks of door knocking and nonstop community outreach, the Cecil Center here in the heart of Chinatown was transformed into a vaccination hub. The hotspot neighborhood had the city's lowest vaccination rate, and this week residents were showing up in droves to get their first shot. But on day two, I'm told the scene quickly shifted. Some very selfish people who uh, have a sense of entitlement decided that they wanted to get their second dose, regardless of whether anybody else had gotten a first dose. You have to ask, is this your first dose? And when they said no, they said we're not giving second doses today. Then the barrage of insults and, and aggression began. At one point, organizers considered calling police, but decided not to out of fear that they would scare away the people this clinic was intended for. The notion that we're all in this together is not true. What is slowing down that process is people trying to hog vaccines, and that just cannot be allowed to happen. After knocking on doors, stopping people in the streets and exhausting all options for first doses, I'm told 10 second doses were administered at the end of the day only because the vaccines had already been thawed and couldn't go to waste. On Cecil Street, Shauna Hunt City News. All right, and provinces are starting to announce shortened time frames between that first and second vaccine dose. And everyone wants to know, is Ontario going to do the same? We've got your headlines coming up.